damn it, if I just go on away, time this never would have happened. Let, let me check the wound. Oh, oh, I'm shot. I'm shot. Jason, do you read me? Over. Hello, Jason, can you read me? Over. God damn it, man, use your walkie talkie. Oh, for the I love of I read you. Listen to me, Commander Mark, I'm injured, and I'm injured very badly. It's, it's my leg, I, I got tagged on the whale. Listen, I need you to talk to a medic uh, and do what you can. Is that possible? All right. Miss Martin. Send a medic down immediately. Right, sir. Who the hell are you? Listen, if you're here for insurance, you're talking to the wrong guy. My name is Jack Shallow. I have information that may be relevant to your situation. Listen, it's too late for insurance. My man's already tagged. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm part of the United States of Defense. I've come here to give you information. Selling insurance? No, I don't have the slightest idea when it comes to selling insurance. I've come here to handle the situation and give you relevant information. You're saying this mission is pointless? Yes. We don't have enough evidence to prove that they have threatening materials. They could have been just cleaning their house. What about the guns? They just got them too? Let's not forget, we were supposed to be acting like professionals. And the only one who here is doing that is me. I'm not the one who shot him. I'm not the one who got him into this mess. And you look at me like it's my fault? I came here to deal with the situation. Okay, Mr. Perfect. Why don't you handle the situation yourself since you're so professional? Well, maybe I will. Well, too bad. I'm worrying about the mission. Now, your stupid agent who almost got himself killed. That's not our problem. What do you think the chief is going to say? Sorry, one of our best agents died because we failed to treat him? Sorry? Do you read the Bible, Mark? No. Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Yes. Then you are aware of the passage, the path of the righteous man. Yes. Here's how it goes. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides of the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he, through the name of clarity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper, the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. You will know my name is the Lord when I lay down my vengeance upon you. I've watched Pulp Fiction way too many times. I can see. Now, I thought it meant absolutely nothing when I first said it, but now i figured it out. It could mean Jason is a weak, and you're the shepherd, carry him through the valley of darkness, and I'm the tyranny of evil men. But that's not right. The truth is, I am the shepherd, bringing this mission, who is the weak, through the valley of darkness, and you're the tyranny of evil men, poisoning and destroying the mission. May I say one thing? Jack, I can prove you wrong. You have a good reason to infiltrate. And what would that be? They are importing calib, the main ingredient in bombs. How do you know this? The color of the
The liquid is blue and smells of relish. Let me talk to you. Can't do anything now. Hello, um... Jason. Jason, how are you doing? I'm starting to bleed into death, I'm good. Well, Jason, I'm going to ask you a series of questions and answer them immediately if you want to live. Do you read me? Hello. My name is Jonathan Jacobo. You know, I was sticking to foster care when I was about four, you know? So I remember, like, all of it, like, stuck in my head like gorilla tape. These parents took me in and they were pretty wealthy, you know? Buy you this, can't buy you that, maybe this, maybe that. But they never gave me that little solace I needed to stay rational, so I was always alone in school. Didn't do very well either. Then I learned the truth. Like there was no reason for me to live. I genuinely took a piece of paper and I couldn't list one thing to live for. So I thought about killing myself. Now thinking like this at age 10 is pretty depressing. So I'm gonna hang myself. I was actually gonna do it, no joke. But you know, I saw Smokey and the bandit in the theater and I was like, nah, I don't feel like killing myself anymore. But I always put myself down, so after I was old enough, I became involved in spy business, you know. And that's where I am today. I have a wife at home, and we're going to start a new life. Hopefully, my kids won't have to experience what I did. Meet us at the rendezvous point. Be careful, Jason. They are probably furious.